Sometimes when we advise someone, we may end up causing more harm than good. The reason for that is that somebody may be advising another person without even understanding that before you advise them, there are certain etiquettes that you need to understand or certain conditions that you need to understand before you give them that advice. For example, first and foremost, you must first be sure of the facts. And what I mean by being sure of the facts is, number one, that you first know that what you're advising them of is actually true. So for example, if you're telling someone that what they're doing is wrong, you must make sure that it is actually wrong. And you must also make sure that they're not following a valid opinion. They may be following another opinion. It may be different than yours, but it may be a valid opinion. Secondly, when it comes to making sure the facts, you have to make sure that they actually did what you're advising them not to do. Another etiquette of advising someone is that you advise them in person, meaning you don't call them out on Facebook or you don't uh, write a PDF about them or you don't make a video about them. Or you don't call them out in public. You go up to them personally, meaning on a one-to-one -one basis, you're standing in front of them and you advise them. Another one of the very important etiquettes of advising someone is that you advise them privately, meaning you don't advise them where there's other people around. You don't advise them, as I said before, on Facebook with all these people reading or all these people watching. You go up to them privately and personally. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. Until next time, inshallah ta'ala, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.